And my expectations for today's program is to be educated as well as to be entertained. Entertained in the sense that through friendly competitions with these number of schools, we can be able to you know, foster some f sort of friendship and study from each other. Last year, I partook in the competition and by God's grace, we came out on top with flying colors. And this year, we're expecting much better. We pray that we come out first, please and be defending champion, the first school to take the title back to park. So this team promises to be exciting and we hope that God leads us through the competition. A satellite is an object that orbits around a bigger object. And so you can see clearly Earth orbiting around the sun. And so the Earth is the satellite of the sun. And you can see an artificial satellite orbiting the moon. Let's assume that CNN is broadcasting news live in their newsroom, which is their program source. CNN then beams their signals from their newsroom to their satellite dish to a TV satellite in space. Any DBS provider can access these signals, provided they've made deals with CNN. At their station, they collate all information, they collate all signals from other sources, since DBS is not the only program source they have. According to Einstein, he said space cannot be defined without mentioning time. He says space and time are intrinsically woven and must be represented by one mathematical unit known as space-time. So in our representation, we will refer to space-time and not space. What is a satellite? A satellite is basically anybody that revolves around a relatively larger object. So if you look at this slide, you see an image of the moon revolving around the Earth and the Earth also revolving around the, around the Sun. And you can see the relative sizes increases from the Moon onwards to the Earth. The handsome gentleman you see on the screen there who looks just like me with a smile is James Russell. In the year 1966, he was the first to invent a CD using a transparent foil and a high-power hydrogen lamp lit from be behind it. And in the year 1979, just like Shatawale and Beyonce, their collaboration. There was also a, collab a collaboration between Philips and Sony, who also started the work of producing compact discs. So the winner for this year's STEM competition goes to St. Peter's Senior High School. So we came here for the Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics program where we presented on the topic space, satellites, and the Ghana Sat1, as well as the various developmental problems in Ghana. It has been an eye-opener. Students are doing very well, public speaking excellent. And so I am very hopeful that we'll be doing very well in the future with these young people who are doing so well. I'd like to say kudos to Peters for winning the competition. They actually gallantly fought for the first position, and it was well-deserved.